Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about difference between care sequence and string in Java. First, let us discuss what care sequence is. Care sequence is an interface which that represents a sequence of characters. Mutability is not enforced by this interface. So both mutable and immutable classes can implement care sequence. As we know, an interface can't be instantiated directly. It needs an implementation, right? So let's see the implementation of care sequence. Here we can see care sequence has been instantiated with a string as string is implementing care sequence interface, right? There are other implementations of care sequence as well. So let me show you that. So here we can see string buffer and string builder are two different classes, which are also implementing care sequence interface, right? So another property of care sequence is it does not refine general purpose implementations of equals and hash code methods. So there is no guarantee that objects of different classes that are implementing care sequence are not equal. So even though they hold the same sequence of characters. So let us verify that. So we have care sequence objects here and we are trying to see the equality of them. Please note that they have the same content. They are holding same content, right? So let us verify now. So test pass. So these two objects are not equal, right? So this is all about care sequence. Now let's discuss about string. So a string is also a sequence of characters in Java, right? So it is an immutable class and most frequently used types in Java, right? So let's, let me show an example. This is how we can create a string object and instantiate it, right? So it's an immutable class and it implements the cat, cat sequence interface. Not only cat sequence interface, it also, uh, you know, implements serializable as well as comparable of type string interface as well. So these are the properties of string. Now let's compare these two. So one common thing between these two cat sequence and string is they both reside in same package java.lang package, right? Now coming to the differences, cat sequence is an interface whereas string is a concrete class. We have seen uh, cat sequence is an interface and string is a concrete class, right? Coming to the second one, string class is immutable, right? So we can even verify that string is an immutable, right? So how do you verify that? Let me show you this. We have a string object. I have initialized it to A and we are trying to get the hash code of that, that object, right? Then what we do, we are appending to the same string. So we are adding some more content to the same string and we are getting the hash code of the same string, right? Now we wanted to compare these two. So these two are not equal. So we can verify that. So test passed meaning. So the even though when we actually appended some content to the existing string, so it actually changed, right? The uh, object reference has been changed. This is the reason when we compare the hash code, these two are not equal. Whereas when we take string builder, right? So the same example, we are take, trying with string builder object, right? So we are actually appending A and then finding out the hash code, then appending some, the same string B to the existing string, right? So what happens with this is uh, the contents are actually overridden into the test object itself. And when we get the hash code, so these two becomes equal. As string builder is holds or appends uh, the string to the ex existing one, or we can say it is overridden, right? We can verify that. So this proves that string is immutable, right? So one more difference is care sequence does not imply any built-in comparison strategy. Whereas string class implements the comparable of string type interface. So to compare two care sequences, we can cache them to strings. 
So if you wanted to compare CAD sequences, right, two CAD sequences, as the CAD sequence does not have any built-in comparison strategy, what we can do is we can actually convert them to the string and use the compare to method of string to compare to two CAD sequences. Right. So to conclude, we usually use string in the places where we are not sure what to use for CAD sequences. But in some cases, string builder and string buffer can be more appropriate. So in this video, we have seen what CAD sequence is, what string is, and we also saw the differences between both. That's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. Thanks for watching.